phone died shit I would have called my mom but my phone died shit I should have called you back but my phone died shit I don't know what I'd be doing yeah my phone died quick I won't be going home till he's six in the morning I'm trying to charge my phone tell me who got a plug for that I won't be going home till he's six in the morning I'm trying to charge my phone Tell me who got a plug for that. Don't go roll that weed in one blunt. Don't pour all them drinks in one cup. If you be the fam, then you know what's up. Don't confuse my phone with my love. See, I'm walking down the street, my phone on 2% like shit. And I don't know when I'll be back. But I know I'm gonna get mine then. To put my city on. See, I would have called my friends, but my phone died shit. See, I would have called my girl, but my phone died shit. See, I just got the charge, then I called my sidekick. And he came through the crib, he just brought my side bitch. Man, I would have called my friends, but my phone died shit. I would have called my mom, but my phone died shit. I should have called you back, but my phone died shit. I don't know what I'd be doing, yeah, my phone died quick. I won't be going home till he's six in the morning. I'm trying to charge my phone. Tell me who got a plug for that. I won't be going home till he's six in the morning. I'm trying to charge my phone. Tell me who got a plug for that. running out to get unlimited skips for an eensy teensy price for the next few days only premium is just 99 cents for your first three months that means you can jump past the tracks you don't like so much straight to the tracks you do have fun bounce around make some moves ready to go premium tap the banner now to get three whole months for 99 cents Time's running out to get unlimited skips for an eensy teensy price. For the next few days only, premium is just 99 cents for your first three months. That means you can jump past the tracks you don't like so much, straight to the tracks you do. Have fun, bounce around, make some moves. Ready to go premium? Tap the banner now to get three whole months for 99 cents. What's up everybody we're back for a late night stream 
and tonight I'm just gonna be working on like the arms of this character. I'm gonna do like a few like more uh, refinement adjustments in like the the face maybe um, a little bit in like the rib cage, but primarily it's gonna be on like the the hands and like the arms for the, the strain. So we'll just get right to it. I'll turn down like the music a little bit just so I can hear hear myself. Okay, so I, I still have like, all the stuff open from last stream. So my anatomy model is still here that I posed like last stream just, just to get like a reference for like how the pectoralis will be like wrapping into an arm that's kind of um, tilted back. So I'll like use that as like an initial reference and also one of my friends uh, dropped by the stream earlier today and after the stream he, he provided me with even more awesome reference. Uh, for like what the peck does when you have like your arm pulled back like that. So I'm going to start making like those adjustments to uh, the model. Okay. So now we'll we'll get to it, because like there's like a lot of like fun to be to be had with like the forms and like the chest when it connects into like the arm like this. So for those of you joining the stream, um, I'm just going to be doing like this for like the majority of like the stream, just like working on like the arms and like the hands. But I want to make this like a um, stream a little bit more engaging. So if you've got like any questions for me or what have you about the software I'm using or like anatomy or what have you, post it in the chat. Or you can ask me one-off questions. Like um, I'm curious like what you guys, if you have like any like holiday plans or what have you, um, feel free to leave that in the chat. These streams are like laid back, so it's just kind of like we're, ch we're chilling out. Like I'm working, like you're watching me like work and what have you. So I want this to be kind of like an informal format. Nice. I am too. I'll probably see you there. One thing I like to do when I'm starting to like rough in like some more forms, I like to integrate them with other forms as I'm working. It just creates a much more vi visually appealing image if stuff isn't so like segregated. So once like stuff is kind of like bleeding, bleeding into one another, it's when you get some really interesting shape language to like whatever sculpture that you're making. And this just, this doesn't just apply to humans, it applies to like all forms of art in general. Turn it 
And like the reference I'm using is from like a bodybuilder, so I have to be like really conscientious about like how much mass I add to like the pec because this guy's obviously emaciated. So if I go too overboard, it'll look look really really weird. So I'm primarily just using like this like bodybuilder reference as a good indicator of like how the muscles are, I guess, contorting around um, the the skeleton in in this post specifically. Like the reference I have like up on my screen is just like this one. So I'm like looking at the connection right there. Um, that's happening in between like the deltoid and like the pectoralis muscle like i said i have to be like very very careful about like being too faithful to that reference because like i said if i add too much mass to the chest it's gonna look bizarre Pull that back a little bit because another thing I really need to keep um, in check is like the, how much tension is on the pack here. Hey, Ninga Assassin. Like the, the big thing here I, I want to keep is like the tension of like the connection between like the the bi like the not the bicep but like the pectoralis muscle into like the humerus of like the arm. So as long as I have like that, um, I'll be happy. And just to, and just making sure like the, the skin feels like it's like stretching to accommodate like this pose is another big, big thing I'm, aim I'm aiming for this stream. So maybe going up a subdivision like level will help us out with that too. Assassin is laying down some numbers. heavy-handed with like sculpting like these like forms real quick
I'm just gonna like experiment a little bit more with like this like form. And if I don't like it, I can always like go back to my previous save or what have you, or click like the undo button a few times. I'm just trying to make like discoveries for my own self as well. Of like what works and like what, what doesn't. Also gonna like add a little bit, little bit more mass to the uh, lower chest because that's a little bit too um, emaciated with the with the new direction I'm, I'm going in. So I'll just quickly like add a little bit more mass to like that area. Looks a little bit better, a little bit more consistent with everything else. I still, I still need this like form to like twist a little bit more. So I'm going to be like a little bit more heavy-handed with everything here to really like crank out this form. Okay, that twist is looking slightly better. Still can push it much more though. Time's running out to get unlimited skips for an eensy teensy price. For the next few days only, premium is just 99 cents for your first three months. That means you can jump past the tracks you don't like so much, straight to the tracks you do. Have fun, bounce around, make some moves. Ready to go premium? Tap the banner now to get three whole months for 99 cents. are over the music is pumping and requests are coming in fast then something hits you harder than a bass drop it's tough to dj with only shuffle play but it's easy to take control with spotify premium okay you can pick any song that's looking better because like. we're starting to get this started, like nice twist in like the, the chest muscle For anybody who's like new in the chat, um, let me know what brought you here. I just recently started start to like tag my videos in, well, just tagging my videos period because I didn't know you could actually do that. So um, if you're new to like the stream, like I'm just gonna be working on like character art for like this big 20 character project that I'm, that I'm doing. So if you've got like any questions about like the software I'm using, anatomy, the project in general, or any other questions, just like let me know in the chat.
Okay, so like the, the chest is starting to like look a lot better and like the, its integration in with like the arm is starting to look more natural. So now I'm just going to keep like working in like this area. I'm going to start working underneath the arm too, around like the armpit region, just to make sure like all those connections feel very, very solid. I noticed uh, we've got some like more people in the chat, so I'll I'll repeat myself again. Um, if you're new to like the stream, I'm just going to be like working on like this character that's part of a 20 character project that I'm I'm doing. So if you've got like any questions for me or you're just like here to like watch the stream, um, welcome. And we're just going to be like sculpting like the arm and uh, the rib cage and like the chest for this stream. And even though like the the back won't be seen in like the final scene, I still want to sculpt it to the point to where I can make sense of like all like the anatomy that's going back here. Because if I make sense of like the, the entirety of the figure, it's going to inform a, a lot of how the, the front looks, which you will see in the final scene. So it's kind of important to have all your bases covered when it comes to that stuff. I will be cutting like some corners though. Um, I won't bring like the back to full polish like how everything else will be. But it'll definitely be fleshed out. Just going to block in more of the shoulder here. Maybe carve in a little as well. So we can get like that plane change of the, sh of the shoulder a little bit more evident. really quick and then we'll get back to defining like this region a little bit more
soften that these forms a little bit more to give it more of a natural look. So from what I'm saying in like the reference image imagery, the closer like the insertion gets to like um, like the arm, the kind of more I guess integrated the, the forms are. And like as you get further to like the, the collarbone, then that's when it starts to be like a little bit more segmented. So I'm gonna try and get that, that whole variation across as well. It's looking a little bit better there. We're going to integrate these forms a little bit more. One thing to avoid is just having a clean line throughout like the separation of your muscles. That never really occurs in like nature. So you want to make sure that you've got some variety in like your the lines between your forms. up a subdivision level just to see how things are looking at like a higher resolution it's looking better I'm gonna smooth out this form a little bit with the clay buildup brush
Okay, so the connection of like the upper chest into like the humerus, the or like the upper arm bone, it's looking much more natural than it was before. So I'm gonna keep like working like that area until it, it looks like proper, because like I said, like, the, the biggest thing here is conveying like that tension with, with the stretch of like the the arm pulling back. That's very important that I get that correct. And also kind of like seeing like the the um, insertion of like the lower chest, which is right here, versus like the upper chest. Since like earlier in my uh, in my stream earlier today, I said like the two kind of like overlap. Pretty happy with that. Um, so I'll just do like a few like more refining, like refining things here and there, and then I'll jump to like the arm probably. Really, it's a world record. We looked it up. Well, we think he'd like Spotify Premium. Instead of just six skips an hour, Premium gives you unlimited skips, so you can jump between tracks as much as you like. Learn more about cool. Premium when you tap the banner. Go on, do it for Peter. That looks really nice now. Like that form looks really cool. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And what I like to do on all my streams, I like to save a new version for like the stream. So we can compare where we were uh, prior to the stream and where we are at the very end of it. So I'll go ahead and save like a different version here. And I'll keep working the arm and like this hand right here. I'm always like torn when I sculpt like the hands like, I always, I don't really like, I wouldn't say the right word is dread. I don't dread sculpting them, but I have to get myself like amped up to sculpt the hands and also to draw like hands too. But once I get into it, I mean, I like sculpting like the hands. It just I don't feel the same way about it that I do like the face. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? To make things easier on us, we're gonna make the hand its own polygroup so we can isolate it when sculpting. So polygroups, group masked. Okay, cool. So now we can just like simply mask the, mask this out, and then we're good to go. I'm gonna look at my own hands as well when like doing something like this reference research. On the other hand too, I think I masked out like each um, finger by a polygroup so I could easily isolate those and sculpt, sculpt in between them. So you can see like here, like after like I pose the figure, like there's some like geometry issues that we have. So I'll just go back and smooth those out just so we can have that out of the way. This last thing you want is just this weird geometry just colliding with each other.
Okay. That's looking pretty good now. Like this hand like overall is just like very sausage like. And it just it's inconsistent with inconsistent with the rest of the characters, so I'm definitely going to make these hands way more bony than they currently are. And we'll just group like each individual finger by itself just to make it a little bit easier with sculpting. So now we can isolate each finger. Well, hang on. There we go. And this just makes it easier for like us to like sculpt each individual one as opposed to having to go in between like each finger and guessing like if something looks correct or not. Instead of Monday, I got love instead of Monday. 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 I got
There's nothing to worry about As long as we're honest, we're both good to go There's something about me I think you should know I got love instead of money I got love instead of money is looking pretty good so far. The thumb needs to come back a little bit more. If you're wondering why I keep looking down, like I'm using my own hand as like reference here too. I've got like images up, I've got like my hand reference here, so I'll keep just like referring back to like all like these different sources. To kind of make sense of like the hand. I also have like anatomy models like here as well that I, I constantly reference also. So just like cross-referencing between all these things helps a lot. Okay. Still think that thumb could come back a little bit more. I'm definitely, I'm definitely going to work on like the fingernails now just because... Oh hey, Jake Jinkook. Nice to see you back, man. <laughs> Can I show the penis? Unfortunately, not on stream. Because <laughs> I don't want to get like flagged on, on like Twitch for that stuff. I'm being really cautious with that because I've heard that some of my other friends get like flagged for that stuff and you can have like your entire channel torn down for that which is stupid since like it's all like art 
but oh well. So the cube is still on there. So how have you been, Jake Jane Cook? Or Jack, Jake Jan Cook, rather? <laughs> I mean, I could. Although I've already said that that Discord is like safe for work, so maybe not. I do post like, well, I don't know, since I, I'm really kind of wishy-washy when it comes to like posting like that stuff in public because I guess maybe on like the Discord it'd be like fine. I mean, everybody there is an adult, so it'll be fine. Yeah. I'm a little tired myself. I've been working on like an oil painting today and like sculpting uh, like on the streams and stuff like that, so. And the holidays just in general. It's, it's a tiring time. <laughs> you got anything fun planned for the holidays? I do a little bit of both. Um, like I said before, I'll gather like reference images of like hands, but I'll also use my own like hand as a reference too. Cause like with anything, uh, hands come in all different like shapes and sizes. There are like anatomical principles that you like use, um, but you know, you need to know how to be able to manipulate that to make something really, uh, that has like life and character to it. Yeah, that's kind of like why I do both. Like, I'll base it off my own hand and also do like other like references. So, Like the rest like the model is like isolated like it, it just like helps to like when you're panning around the model to kind of like isolate um like the different portions of it so i could like hold like control alt and then like the rest of the body is like there it's just, like it helps to not have have be like working in like this area to where oh no i can't see the hand anymore so it just like is better from like a like a visual standpoint to work stuff in segments like this sometimes because i can do this now i can see like the full view of like the hand as opposed to like ooh like the, the side of the characters in the way so I have to pan around it to sculpt like this way like this is completely unrestricted when you do stuff like this and also it's faster too on the computer um, because you're you're not moving as many points around so like you're your, I guess, um, software is like much more responsive in that in that respect too. <laughs> yeah, I, like the entire like lower body, I need to adjust. Cause like I said, like this is a uh, like the pipeline that I'm using. I sculpted a a finished like sculpture in like a T pose, and then like I unwrapped like the the low poly like base mesh, and then I put that into like a auto rigging software called Mixamo. And then I, I was able to like pose the character in different ways. So um, in ZBrush, you can actually import like um, models with clean UVs as like la as layers. And then all of a sudden, like all your sculptural details apply to like that posed model. But you have to essentially retouch everything because like the, the pose distorts a lot of stuff. So that this is a lot of this is kind of left, left over from my previous sculpt as well.
my breath and step away and think about what to say to why come on breath I belong to no one no one I belong to no one no one I'm not known to hold on hold on to love I belong to no
out to get unlimited skips for an eensy teensy price. For the next few days only, premium is just 99 cents for your first three months. That means you can jump past the tracks you don't like so much, straight to the tracks you do. Have fun, bounce around, make some moves. Ready to go premium? Tap the banner now to get three whole months for 99 cents. running out to get unlimited skips for an eensy teensy price for the next few days only premium is just 99 cents for your first three months that means you can jump past the tracks you don't like so much straight to the tracks you do have fun bounce around make some moves ready to go premium tap the banner now to get three whole months for 99 cents
skipping rope over 12,000 times in an hour. Really, it's a world record. We looked it up. Well, we think he'd like Spotify Premium. Instead of just six skips an hour, Premium gives you unlimited skips. So you can jump between tracks as much as you like. Learn more about Premium when you tap the banner. Go on, do it for Peter. Time's running out to get unlimited skips for an eensy teensy price. For the next few days only, premium is just 99 cents for your first three months. That means you can jump past the tracks you don't like so much, straight to the tracks you do. Have fun, bounce around, make some moves. Ready to go premium? Tap the banner now to get three whole months for 99 cents.
that hand is looking better now. It's looking a little bit closer to like the rest of the body in terms of like body fat percentage. I'm going to continue to give like the, the hand like more character. I'm going to make like the bones like a little bit more evident in the hand.
Okay, so the fingers are starting to like have like a little bit more character and a little bit more life to them. So I'm just gonna keep working on that for probably the rest of the stream. Cause I really wanna push like the fingers to where you've got like this like nice kind of contrast of flesh and bone. Mattress Firm's fan favorite deals are back. For a limited time, get a king for the price of a queen and a queen for a twin. So you can save up to $600 or get a free adjustable base with your qualifying mattress. Up to a $699 value, free. Now's the time to buy. Regan from Maryland said she loved the value she got with the adjustable base. We dare you to try to find a better deal before the year ends. Your budget stretches further at Mattress Firm. 
Restrictions apply. Offers not combined with valid at participating locations only. For offer details, visit mattressfirm.com slash sale. Hey, Spotifyers. Click or tap the banner to listen to Happy Holidays. Spread some cheer with this list of new and old seasonal favorites. Brought to you by Disney's Mary Poppins Returns. Now playing in theaters. What if every time you went out, you could cash in? Now with the Capital One Saver Card, you earn 4% cash back on dining and entertainment, like celebrating every year the crew gets older. Or when you and your crew are courtside during overtime. No matter your reason for going out, now you have four more. Introducing the new Saver Card from Capital One. Earn 4% on dining and 4% on entertainment. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. Capital One Bank, USANA. I'm Birdman, Chad Taylor's member. I'm a manager, producer, and I'm an artist. But internet money takes up a lot of my time because they have something going on every single day. The reason I say internet money special is because it's a bunch of kids from all over the world who met each other online, built the brothers of the bonds, and they just want to work, make money, take care of their families, and just have fun. I've seen a vision. I've just seen something crazy in it. When somebody is more than just the music, the opportunity is endless. And look where we at right now. I'm Bird, and this is how it breaks it. Presented by Sprite.
guys we got about uh, 15 minutes left so I'm gonna keep at it with the forearm and then I'll close out like the stream with just comparing like where we were um, at the beginning of today or actually before like this stream and then compare it to where it is currently Oh, thanks for the follow there. I appreciate that. Rhodes, Rhodes uh, QA. Is that how you pronounce that uh, that username? Probably butchered the pronunciation on that. Well, anyway, I'll, I'll just call you Rhodes if that's okay. Thanks for the follow, Rhodes. I appreciate that. Rodeska. Okay. Rodeska. Alright. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. So, what I'm doing that currently is just I'm working on one of the characters for this 20 character project that I'm doing. Uh, they'll be running in Unreal, Unreal Engine 4, which is a game engine that I'm using. Um, so, all these characters will be like fully textured and like running in real time. This is character number five so far. Um, so after I finish like this guy, 
I'll be working on character number six. And then, so I, I've got like 15 more characters to do after, after this guy. So I'll be streaming all this on Twitch. Um, but yeah, if you... If you're uh, curious about my process or like the software I'm like using, uh, just like ask any questions you may have for me. So what brings you to the stream? Just like found me through like uh, browsing on Twitch. I've recently added text to my video, so it'll make me a little bit easier to find on this platform. Cool. Well, thank you for clicking on the video. I appreciate that. I know that seeing like a, a gray ZBrush model isn't like the most like appealing of things, so I always ask my um, like newcomers to like the streams if. I can do anything to make this like a little bit more entertaining for you. I've got background music, I've got kind of like a, a viewer counter and, and stuff like that to kind of make it a little, little bit more visually entertaining. Um, but if you got any suggestions for me, just let me know that as well. <laughs> I'll just have to sculpt an anime girl then. I've, I've noticed like that's pretty common on Twitch is to just like draw anime girls or like fan art, like Fortnite fan art does really well. Also, uh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh, Twitch's best kept secret just to like draw or sculpt or just create anime girls to get the views. <laughs> oh, by the way, like Rodiska, like uh, I'm trying to build like a community on Discord as well. Um, so with like this Discord, we kind of like do like resource sharing where we've got programming, we've got art, we've got design resources that we share. And I'm actually, um, if you're a fellow streamer, if you give me like your contact info, I can put like your details into like the, the notif notification bot on the stream. And as soon as you go live, everybody in like that, like Discord is notified that you're going live. Um, so I've got like Let's Play channels and like all this other stuff in there. So I'm trying to grow a community of people who like to develop content for games, but also like to play games. So if that's something that of like interest to you, just like let me know and I'll send you like the link in the chat here. Sweet. Yep, and like all my uh, platforms can be seen like down below, like on like the video. You've got ArtStation, you've got Instagram. Um, if you're interested in seeing kind of like the behind the scenes, I have another Instagram showing like work in progress images. The Instagram that I link to on my Twitch, I only show like uh, finished works there. But if kind of like the, the behind the scenes, work in progress images, if that's something that you, you like want to see as well, I can link you to that Instagram also. Okay, cool. Awesome. Well, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. So are you a uh, character artist or are you environment or um, are you just getting into 3D? Like, what's your what's your story? Cool. Okay, cool. Well, like, we have a show and tell section on, like, the Discord, too, so whatever you're working on, feel free to, like, post, like, some pictures in, like, the show and tell area. I mean, we've got so many different people. Like, we've got a few programmers in, like, the Discord who share, like, the, the game prototypes that they're working on and stuff like that. So it's a really cool, like, community to be a part of. 
And um, I mean, I, I just started this like last week and we're already past uh, 30 members in there. So I want it to be like this like really cool like resource where people can kind of just like come and like chill out, uh, see what I guess each member is up to if they want to. But yeah, so it's just fun stuff like that. We actually had, um, I forgot, I forgot the, the guy's like last name, but his first name is Rommel. And uh, he's a friend of mine, but he's a phenomenal character sculptor. Like he does sideshow collectibles and like all this other stuff. He just don't, he just joined the Discord today, and he was he's a phenomenal guy too. He's really really nice, super super hardworking and talented. Um, so he'll be hopefully he'll post in the Discord too because when you guys see his sculpts, they're insane. I love them so much. Okay, cool. So are you like working in the industry then for like uh, like toy collectible companies or are, is this kind of like a are you doing like more so like a freelance thing or what's your what's your setup? Okay, cool, awesome. Yeah, I just got out of school actually, so um, I just started to like apply for jobs. I got like an offer from Hasbro actually, and they, they really want me. So um, I'm actually doing a uh, drug screening test for them too, because thankfully I was like their first pick for like the job. So it's like it's it's a temporary position that like lasts for a year, but they said that um, like there's definitely. Um, it's well, it's how like most other people start off at that company. Like you always start off as a, as a temp, but then like you'll get like, offered like a full time job if you know if you do a good job for like your your temporary position that is. So I'd be working on Marvel and Star Wars stuff. So that'd be cool to do to do like sculptures like that. And they only like, they only want like a character sculpture, so I won't be doing any sort of like retopo or like UVing or like texturing. It'd just be like solid sculpting and zebra pretty much. Which I like, because like sculpting's my first love. I mean, I like all aspects of like the the game creation process for like characters, except for Retopo. Like I love texturing. I love. I actually do like UV, like setting scenes, and, like UV mapping and stuff like that. But when it comes to like the Retopo process, I I wish there was an automated button button for it. Yeah, it's a really cool setup. Like I, it's it's gonna be interesting. I've also like applied for like a few like other job so we'll see like, how things go but that's kind of like um what i'm thinking thus far just because like i already have like the the go ahead with like that like hey you're you're the guy for the job we want you um i'm still like waiting to hear back from like a few like other video game companies because that's what i went to school for i went to school for um game development so to be like in like that industry would be would be really really cool but at the end of the day it's all like the entertainment industry and I've actually found out that a lot of like the top tier like character artists in the in the game industry start out at Hasbro too. So it's not like a um like the all industries are in like entertainment are way more integrated than you would think. Oh, I mean for sure. I mean, uh, throw up in like the Discord. Uh, I encourage like activity um, by anybody. So I mean, if if you like want like any like, feedback on it, I'm um, just like posting there, and I'll take a look at it after I get done with the stream. And like I'll be ending the stream in like six minutes. So okay. Um, currently the Discord is like set to safe for work, but if I like if I put like the show and tell channel to like not safe for work. I'll probably do that because, I mean, I don't like censoring my stuff either because it's just like, I don't know, it's a hassle. And at the end, at the end of the day, we're all adults and like this is all art. So I mean, as long as it's like tasteful, I mean, I don't have an issue with it. So go ahead and just like put it in there. So how long have you been like uh, sculpting?
Sweet. Excellent. I've actually been in like 3D 10 years myself. Um, I've been sculpting in ZBrush for, let's see, almost 10 years as well. I got started when I was about 14. So this coming year, like, it'll also be like 10 years for me. Because I got started in 3D in 2008. Um, and then after a year of y using Blender, I wanted something that was like a, a little bit more easy to like, create organics with. So that's when I came across ZBrush. And I picked up like the software, asked for it as like a middle school graduation present, and I've been using it ever since. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Blender's great, and like 2.8, I mean, that thing is gonna be awesome when it's fully released. Like, I, I got the latest version of like the alpha, I need to get the beta at some point, but like, the, just the functionality with like the grease pencil, I see so much potential with that from a, from a concept standpoint, just being able to like draw in 3D space, it's really, really cool. Granted, you can do the same stuff in like Quill with like VR stuff, but to have like a production software that allows that, that's really, really cool to me. Like I've tried to like use Quill too. I mean, I've I spent about like an hour in it, and then I'm like, okay, this is not as intuitive as I'd like. So I kind of dropped it because I didn't really see it as a um, production like software. I see it as kind of like this like cool thing that you can like play around with. But when it comes to actually developing um, content, it's just not. It didn't feel like natural to me. Granted, like it'll take some time to get used to because I see some amazing stuff done with Quill, some mind-boggling stuff. Um, so I mean. At the, end, at the end of the day, these are all just tools. I just, I didn't gravitate towards it like how I, how I did with ZBrush or Blender or Substance Painter or stuff like that. So, oh, I, I must be behind because I, I didn't see, like, any, like, the, the latest updates for, like, ZBrush. Like, I know I've got, like, 2018 on my, um, like, I got, like, the first update for 2018 on my PC. I'm just, like, not using it currently for whatever reason just because um, this version, like, uh, 4R8 is, like, the more stable version because I've experienced, like, some uh, crashes with, like, 2018. Like, some of my other, like, uh, friends have also experienced crashes with, with that, so... But I mean, I love like the new sculptures feature, feature in like 2018, but they, they have like UV support. Explain that because I know that they have the um, UV master, but actually UV support. Okay. So grouping now, I have to, I'll have to take a look at that because I didn't hear anything about um, a new update for 2018. Or 2019, like it really depends on when they release like the update. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save this guy. Okay, cool. Because I know you could like do like seams to a certain extent with like poly paint and stuff like that with the UV master, but it really wasn't effective, if that makes sense. Like it, it didn't follow it exactly. Um, so like the entire system wasn't the best. So if they if they completely redid it, I'll definitely look into it. Because I mean, all that I use Maya for is just for its like UV tools. Like if I have like a, a better solution in like ZBrush or Blender, I'll probably just use that. <laughs> Yeah, seams and UV master are not not good at all. All right, so I'm going to load in like the previous save of this um of this sculpt just so we can see like what we did on on uh, this two hour stream tonight. And as always, um, like I'll be 
I stream like every weekend, so I'll, I stream like twice uh, a day on both Saturdays and Sundays. And it usually starts at about um, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Central Standard Time for the first stream. And then the second stream will be from 9 p.m. to like 11 p.m. And each of those streams are like two hours long. So this is where I was like at um, before tonight's stream. And then this is where I, I kind of got tonight. So just like further reform refinement and all that good stuff. So yeah, you can see that I, I definitely, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it too, because like my major thing was to give this kind of twist of like the, the muscle fibers, since like the, the pec connects to like the humerus or like the upper arm bone, and like the arms pulled back in this way, you want to get like a nice twist with the upper chest muscle. So that is what I was going for, because here it was just kind of, it was just like pulled back and like that was it. But now here, you've got much more of like that like movement being like carried throughout the entire muscle. And also like the hand too, like I started to like sculpt like the hand on uh, this stream. Because before, he had kind of like sausage fingers, and for like the rest of the character, he's got really like low bodies, uh, he's got like very low, low body fat. So I wanted to make like the fingers a little bit more skin and bone. So these were like the, the changes right there. And also just like some small edits to like the ribcage it looks like as well. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'll close out the stream by doing a render, and I've got my own kind of like matte cap um, in ZBrush for like um, just a three-point light setup. So I'll just like open that. It doesn't look all that great in like the viewport, but once I hit like render, it looks pretty decent. Um, let me see if I yep everything's good to go there. So I'll just get this guy at a pretty cool angle. Yeah, anatomy is this like lifelong thing that you'll always keep discovering new things. I mean, I've made so many discoveries just by working on this guy. Um, because when you sculpt like a, a posed figure, you learn so much about it. Because you have to think about how the muscles like relax and how they contract. And you know, opposing muscles have an inverse rela relationship with you know the the other muscles. So when whenever you're pulling your arm this way, your biceps contracting, your triceps relaxing. So stuff like that. Um, it's been really, really beneficial to my learning of anatomy to see it kind of in motion as well. So I'll do like a render here real quick after like this is done auto saving. And I'll be posting like this like kind of um, shot to like the Discord to my Instagram stuff like that just so to promote the stream like a little bit as well. So let's just do like the quick render here. But I'm pretty happy with today's progress. Um, it's been pretty significant. I, I could like load up my uh, version like 1.3 of like this like sub tools just so you could see what I did over the course of the entire day, not just like this one stream. I'll probably do that after I save like this image that's about to about to be rendered. So that's looking pretty cool. Definitely stuff is coming together now. So I'll go ahead and just export this out. Thanks. It's just a simple like three point light setup with uh with the light caps here. And like light caps are way more accurate with like lighting and shadows than the kind of the default lights that ZBrush pro uh, provides you with. So, oh, thanks Nigga Assassin. Uh, thanks for dropping by the stream. I hope you have a great Christmas too. Um, so now I'm gonna like load up the, the previous tool, um, 1.3, so we can see like what we did over the entire day. So 1.3, and I made some major modifi modifications to like the the rib cage, the the arm a little bit. Um, so let's just delete like these like lights real quick. Turn on our working light again. So this is where we were at the very very beginning of today. So stuff like looks pretty cool, but it could be pushed a little bit further. So I I made like the the chest in more agreement with like the arm to where the deltoid. And like the, the pectoralis muscle are, are in agreement with like how much mass mass should be there before. I had like too much mass on the deltoid and not enough mass on like the pectoralis muscles, so, so like there's a disconnect there. But now after having applied the changes, I brought like the, the arm back. I got like that nice kind of crease in like the musculature. Um but yeah, so I mean definitely a lot of like great work has like been done today. I'm happy with it. 
Um, glad that I started to like, sculpt the hand because it was looking kind of just like chubby, like unnecessarily chubby there too. But yeah, so for those of you who are popping in the stream, unfortunately I gotta head out because I'm fa five minutes like past my stuff. But if you want to like, follow my stream, uh, follow me on Twitch to see like when I go like live. I always go live on the weekends. Uh, I stream twice a day on both Saturdays and Sundays. If you want like other like, notifications, I'm building a, a community on Discord that you can like share your own streams, share your work, connect with like, other members of, of the community. Um, and like you can see like all those links down below in the video. But until next time, guys, I will see you all later. And to those of you who dropped by the stream, thank you very much. Um, I'm just like reading like your like last comments. Uh, Rodeska. And those does remind me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, anatomy is just like this ever, ever growing thing. So until next time, guys, I will see you later. I'll leave you with this cool, like, little slideshow. But yeah, I'll see you next weekend. Uh, happy holidays.